If you're looking for things to do at the San Diego Zoo, keep watching this video. And if you like it, don't forget to subscribe. The San Diego Zoo offers free parking, so you don't have to worry about coming out of the pocket when you're parking here at the San Diego Zoo. <laughs> Quick tip is look at the line behind us. It's pretty long. You guys could buy the tickets online instead of waiting in this long line. If you guys are wondering how much it costs to come to the San Diego Zoo, it's $56 per adult ticket. And $46 for kids. The big animals are more active in the morning time, so make sure you get here bright and early, nine o'clock when it opens. That way you can check out all the big animals. You can get your map of the San Diego Sur right in front of the entrance. It is now time to jump on the bus tour. Do not confuse it with the kangaroo bus. I'll talk more about that later. But the bus tour is a 40 minute tour. It's a double decker bus. There's a couple pros and cons about the top level and the lower level. The top level, you got the sun beating on you, but the good thing is you could look down at all the animals. So you have a better sight to the animals, but the sun's beating on you. And when you're at the bottom, you know, you got shade from the sun. And the thing is you can't really see the animals that well from the bottom. And we recommend you guys sit on the right hand side because if you don't, you're gonna be standing up every five seconds to try to look over the people that sat on the right hand side and they got a better view than the left hand side. So make sure you stick on your the right, right side. side. But the cool thing is you get to see a lot of animals here. I mean, you got lions. Elephants. There's bears. Tigers. Leopards. Snow leopards. Camels and a lot more animals here on the bus tour. We are now at the reptile area. They have more snakes than any other thing here, but they also have lizards and all that kind of stuff. I she don't loves like it. <laughs> she loves this area. It's not my favorite area of the San Diego Zoo. But if you're trying to get to it, as soon as you enter, hook a left and you can't miss it. In the front street you have cafe and cantina where you can find nachos burritos margaritas beers and soft drinks you can also find hamburgers kids meal and ice cream so we're now at the reptile walk which is directly behind the snakes Look at this one, it's ginormous. I have bad news for you guys if you came to see the petting zoo or the children's play area because right now it's closed down. But the good news is they're gonna build a bigger area and the display is right here. If you guys want a refillable cup that costs $12, then this is the way to go right here. All you have to do is show your receipt every time you get a refill, but you could get all kinds of soda and just like that. In Lagoon Terra Cafe, they have sandwiches, hot dogs, slices of pizza, and personal pizzas. Cheese pizza, pepperoni pizza. I got the buffalo sandwich and it comes with chips. It's like a mild buffalo. It's not super hot, it's really good. And I got a pepperoni personal pan and it looks pretty good. So let me give you guys a taste test right here. I say it tastes kind of like Domino's Pizza. So if you like Domino's Pizza, you're going to like this one. I'm now at the Lagoon Terrace where they have a bunch of koi fish. In the San Diego Zoo, you can bring your water bottle or snacks, fruit, lunch, whatever you want instead of 
spending your money here, you can bring your snack or for the ones that have babies, you can bring snacks for your toddlers or babies. Now we are entering the urban jungle. I have a huge rhino right behind me. Good day, mate. In the outback area, you can find the koalas. They don't have a lot of them, but the ones that are right now, they're sleeping. Behind me, you can see the kangaroo bus, and this one is not to be confused with the bus tour that we went on earlier. This one pretty much has four stops, so it picks you up and it drops you off. They don't really give you any detail about the animals that's there. It's just pretty much for transportation only. And these are the four stops that it has. Here's the first one right here. The second one is all the way up here. Third one is by the lions. And then the fourth one down here, and then it brings you all the way back to number one. We're now in front of Africa Rock, so let's go see what animals they have here. You could walk under this amazing waterfall all the way at the bottom of Africa Rock. between Asian Passage and African Rocks. Right here, you can find a lot of Asian food. Teriyaki, tofu, egg rolls, orange chicken, pineapple teriyaki, Asian soups and salads, and also veggie burgers. They also have chicken sandwiches and regular burgers. All that in Huami Cafe. We're now at the northern frontier. We're gonna go into the polar bear plunge. Let's go see if the polar bears are active and awake. We did get a glance at him. He is awake, but he's kind of just laying down. It's cool when they're back here in this water area right here, where they're just swimming around and you can see him just swim up too. October is a very important month for the San Diego Zoo. That's because kids get in for free all month long. As long as they have one paid adult, 10 kids could come on with that adult. So a lot of kids come for their field trips. So it's very cool for the kids to come in for free, but be prepared to wait in lines if you come in October. So the San Diego Zoo is open 365 days a year. That means it does not close even on major holidays like Christmas or New Year's. So you guys can always enjoy the fun here at the San Diego Zoo. If you want a round trip on the Sky Fari, you have to unfortunately get off and then get back in line. So that's what we're doing right now. We're getting off and we're getting back in line. It's not you can't a round just trip. it's not a round trip. You can't just stay on the tram. Sky Fari is free. 100 percent free. This is the San Diego Zoo 4D Theater and it's an all experience. You touch, you feel, you see, and right now they're playing Rio and Smallfoot. So it's nice to see that here at the San Diego Zoo. We are now entering to my favorite part of San Diego Zoo, Elephant Odyssey. Not only do they have elephants at Elephant Odyssey, they also have lions. A sleeping one at that. We 
we are about to enter the last forest, which is right next to the flamingos. The last forest is the biggest part of the whole San Diego Zoo, so it's gonna take us a while, but we're gonna get through it. Let's see what animals they have here. We got a little lost in the lost forest, so now we're on the escalator, we're headed up. Let's check out the stores to get some souvenirs. Hope you guys like this video if you like it don't forget to subscribe hit the like button and if you guys want to watch our sea world video click on right here this next video or not very important right here okay.